This is part of the machine that helped CU Professor of Aerospace Engineering Xin Zhao Chu and her students discover a layer of metal in the sky above Boulder. We use a high sensitivity hydar to uh, uh, discover metal layers about 150 kilometer above the Earth's surface. LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It's a machine that uses lasers to detect those metal particles and measure their distance from Earth's surface. These layers were first discovered in Antarctica's McMurdo Station. That's where PhD student Ian Garrity got involved with the project. The existence of these metal layers in the upper atmosphere provide a means of us to study what's going on up there. So what is going on up there? Chu and Garrity have a few theories. When they fall onto the southern ocean, people believe, especially the iron uh, species, uh, act, uh, uh, acts as a fertilizer uh, to promote the growth of uh, plankton. And that is, you know, the, the food for uh, lots of species there. These new measurements we discovered represented some atmospheric process we didn't understand, which means that's a good thing as a scientist. It means there's something new to find. Jackson Jandrew was supposed to go to Antarctica last year to study the metal layer using LIDAR, but the pandemic halted those plans. It was a pretty big bummer. I was pretty excited to go. You know, I, I've still got my, uh, you know, I've got all my coats in the closet ready to go. He's on deck to make the trip this year. While he's working near the South Pole, his teammates will be trying to secure funds for a new LIDAR system to replace the one they sent to Antarctica. Brian Wendland, Nine News.